Welcome again to OMN TV, which is short for Open Mic Night TV for those who are just watching it for the first time. Uh, with us again is a gentleman, uh, Jason Mark Yates from the United Kingdom. But before we start talking to uh, Jason, I want to bring in a little uh, tidbit that uh, Jason wrote uh, and a good friend of both of ours. Mostly him, though, but uh, good friends with us as well, by the name of Darcy Javon, who helped produce the uh, this tidbit. And when the tidbit gets done, I'm going to have uh, Jason tell you all about it. It's uh, it was written and produced for AVR. And for those who do not know what AVR is, it's American Veterans Radio. So take a listen. Station calling out to all the nations, first responders and our military. We support our ADRs and our fans are the smartest with the ADR family. ADR, yes we are, it's true. Again, welcome back. AVR, hope you didn't mind the plug-in. So Jason, how'd you get to write the theme song for the AVR? Well, that was a, a real privilege, to be honest. Um, I still think about it most days and think what a wonderful privilege that was. Uh, I got introduced to AVR and started joining their chat group. They have a little chat box on Facebook with, with the station. Uh, they got to know that I was a musician, played some of my songs, liked them. Uh, now they play a lot of my songs. And after a course of a few months, um, I was approached by a member of their team to ask if I'd be interested in writing a theme song for AVR. They, they'd been together for about five years and never actually had a theme song. And when they asked me, I thought, wow, you know. <laughs> so first thing I did was ask for what they wanted including in the lyrics um, so that when I put the lyrics together it encompassed everything that they were about so they gave me some key phrases and some of them are quite awkward phrases to put into a song to be honest but uh, I managed to get them fit quite quite well I uh, got a theme tune worked out added a few sound effects to do the military like an air raid siren at the end for example uh, then put a video to it as well and uh, they use it every day. It's, it's, it's a great sound. So, hope AVR, hope you enjoy our plug-in. Uh, we enjoyed the theme song. So Jason, um, the first song that you're going to be performing on our show tonight is called, um, what? Reaching Out. Reaching Out. I had, I had to ask myself. So, first song is called Reaching Out. What's that song all about? Uh, it's about someone who is always the friend to a gorgeous girl who is on her own and would never think of asking him to be her boyfriend, 
but he's always there to help when she's been jilted. So it was about the feelings of him for her and about the situation. And it was the song that I became a finalist in the UK songwriting contest last year. That's due again right now, in fact, for 2014, a new contest. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, but both, that's basically what the song was about. Oh, Ron and I both enjoyed the uh, the video, mm -hmm. and the gentleman, I believe his name is David Panacy. Did I pronounce it right? Yeah. Uh, how did you get to uh, meet him, and, and how he worked the video to how you wanted? Or did you guys work it together? Well, we we didn't actually meet, but uh, I found um, this video that he produced was absolutely perfect for the opening scene um, with all this rain and um, atmosphere for the actual video. So he was credited with that at the end of the video. Okay, well, for you out there, here's Reaching Out by Jason Mark Yates. So you're alone tonight In need of a friend Someone On whom you can depend Someone to talk to So you don't feel alone On rainy streets When you walk home too many broken hearts, it seems I'm lost inside those endless dreams I've innocently hoping for too much And though we hide behind the screens That hold the vision of our dreams We know we won't be trampled in the rug Reaching out for what we'll never touch When you dress up, you look so cool And I am just a guy on a stool Someone to talk to so it all looks right Someone to walk you home tonight Too many broken hearts it seems I lost inside those endless dreams I've innocently hoping for too much We hide behind the screens That hold the vision of our dreams We know we won't be trampled in the rush Reaching out for what we'll never touch of a friend Someone 
someone to walk you home tonight. Jason, outstanding, and that the video was, oh, it was really, it, it just added to your song, like, blah, 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 that's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Right, well, 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 okay. <laughs> I didn't tell anybody. <laughs> uh, uh, ah, I lost my train of thought. And then I couldn't think of the word. <clears throat> it happens. But uh, our next song, that not our next, your next song that you'll be performing was actually produced by Darcy Javon, if I'm not mistaken, called The Answer Is You. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Bear with us, folks. Um, when I listened to the song, and I wrote it down just so I can re actually remember it, looking for the elusive answer from within oneself, finding the answer to uh, being right in front of you, kind of a thing. The answer is right in front of you. You just need to look for it. How close am I? Ish. <laughs> close it. No, this is um, this is my first attempt at a country style song because um, on AVR they have a country show on Sunday and uh, I really didn't have anything for it, so I thought I'd try this. So it's a bit of a country ballad, really, and it's um, about a guy who's a bit of a waste of time, lazy, but she loves him. She knows he's got a good heart, but she's losing patience. And this is really about his plea to not give up on him, really. Oh, so that's the ish part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, ish. well, here's the answer is you. Searching for the answers in my soul When you decided that you had to go Now I know my searching is through The answer to my questions is you
Maybe it's because of the tears I've cried. Girl, I know that I've been a fool. The answer to my craziness is you. Say you'll forgive me. You know what I am. A lazy, good for nothing. Excuse of a man. Keep on believing, so I can understand and learn what I have to do to be your man. Jason, uh, introducing that last song. Uh, if I can get my mouth working, we'll be fine. So, hey, it, <laughs> the next song is going to fit perfectly with that problem. It's called Curse the Moon. Can you tell us a little bit about that one, please? Well, yes, as with a lot of my songs, they're to do with the relationships. The last one we just looked at was about a guy that got a good heart and he was hoping that she'd um, believe in him. This is about a guy who's probably had enough of her and um, he's letting her know that she can do whatever she wants, you know, he'll be fine on his own. But there's this little thing going on that towards the end you do wonder whether he, he really believes that, you know. And uh, this is the first song that I wanted to do with a bit of a kind of a sting type sound and vocal. Not sure whether I accomplished that, but at least it gave a different vibe to the uh, to the vocal as well. Well, so far, all the music that we've actually aired, that you've uh, written, performed, uh, produced, however you want to describe it, uh, have been great. I mean, uh, s some of your music, I'm, both Ron and I are both surprised that uh, none of them has actually hit the mainstream as far as... Uh, our regular radio stations that we have here in the states. I, I don't, do not know if your music is being played in your area as far as regular radio stations, but here, not so. Yeah, reaching out recently got played on the BBC, uh, but it took a long, long time. I don't think uh, it's a very easy thing at all. Um, and I've had a lot of people say to me that the music should be in mainstream. But there's a lot of people whose music should be in mainstream, you know, not just me. So I think it's just a difficult... The stations tend to have their favourites, their favourite kind of sound. And if it doesn't quite fit in to that criteria, then it doesn't get a look, you know. So it is difficult for indie artists, but as long as we're, we're being heard and people are appreciating what we do, I'm sure I can speak for most that. We're very it's, happy with that, you know. It's too bad because so much of this is being missed that uh, others would probably even enjoy it better than what's actually out there on the air now. Mm. So uh, here's Curse the Moon by Jason Mark Gates. You can curse the moon You can blame the sun Sail your ship on the 
Jason, that um, Curse the Moon had the sound of what I consider 50s jazz. Uh, it had a little, I almost wanted to say calypso to it too, but it, it, was, it was mostly the jazz sound of the 50s. Would that be something in the ballpark? Yeah, but it's funny because uh, it's funny you should mention that because um, Elton John's producer, Stuart Epps, he produced a lot of Elton John's, Paul McCartney's, and people like that. He actually sent me an email saying just that, that my voice had got a very 50s kind of smooth vibe. To oh, me. You, you got an email from royalty? I did, yeah. He, he listened to one of my songs. That it was Reaching Out, actually, he listened to it. Really, really liked it. And that was the first thing he commented on. So uh, I quickly took that quote and put it on my uh, website. I thought, well, that's worth a mention. Listen up, folks. We have royalty to actually listen to this gentleman perform his music by the uh, name of Elton John. You can't get any better than that. Uh, the next song was, to me, was a little out of character for you. Um, <laughs> uh, the song was a little on the dark side. Uh, the title of the song was called Deviant. and how I perceived it was the inner workings of a troubled individual is how I would summarize that whole song. How close well, am I? True. Yeah, that's very true. It's interesting to hear your perceptions of, of what I do. Uh, that's true. I, I can write very deep and dark stuff, you know, um, real hellhole stuff if I wanted to. Uh, this, was, this was about a prisoner, a guy who's in and out of prison all the time, and he's got this girl who loves him, believes in him. He needs her, but for her sake, he's pushing her away because he knows he's a deviant, you know? And it's got this real tension about it. 
But what I love about this song is something that has been controversial with people. They've either really liked it or not liked it at all, and that's the drum pattern. I wanted a kind of a metallic, eerie, left to right speaker drum sound so that it gave the sound of, I don't know, a prison with um, prison doors clanking and shutting, giving this kind of cold, empty, metallic vibe. And I was really pleased with the way that came out. Uh, but the song is about uh, a deviant who he knows he's not going to change. And as long as she stays with him, her life will be hell. You know? Well, as a, as a retired correctional officer, uh, it did have that uh, perception. So. Oh, great. Oh, great. So well, that's good, I, I, I will tell you that. And I don't know if Elton John told you anything about that one, but <laughs> we can hope. So here's Deviant by Jason Mark Gates. You opened up my grave Dragged me through the briar Hoping you could save me From the screeching of my tires Now you know it's hopeless Now you know it's true I am just a deviant But I'm in love with you Watching how you crumble See the many times you fail Trying to improve me And keep me out of jail Now you know it's hopeless Now you know it's true Just a deviant But I'm in love with you Give me up And throw me on the fire I cannot change my ways This bad desire Walk away And don't take any blame This guy was meant to be Forever in chains Watching now you leave me With these voices in my head Tell me she believed in me But I won't change what I said I know it's hopeless Now I know it's true I'm just a deviant And I'm still in love with you I am just a deviant And I'm still in love with you Near the end of the show, of uh, Jason's part of the show, uh, the the song that he's going to be performing is called "Shifting Sands." Um, I believe Darcy Javon is the backup vocal for, for this piece, and I do believe that uh, she helped produce and arrange the song with you, Jason. Am I correct? Yes, 
That's right. Yeah. You wrote the uh, song. So it was a big, yeah. Okay, you wrote it, and between the both of you, you guys both pr pr um, produced and arranged uh, the the, the song that's, itself. That's right. Yeah. Okay, that's right. and uh, can you tell us a little bit about the sands, uh, shifting sands, and did you have any other information that you wanted to give to our audience? Yeah, sure. All right. Um, Shifting Sands is a lovely expression, really, and uh, I wanted it as a song title. And it just gives that picture of instability of something not quite being the way you want it to be, and you can't put your feet on it because it's moving. And that's the kind of thing with this relationship, you know. Um, I don't want to lose you, sort of thing, to no Shifting Sands. So the insecurity of the relationship this is a song i've got quite a few hopes for really because uh, there's a film company that's interested in this song as we speak so i'm hoping something comes from that uh, wanting it for a romantic comedy film uh, a scene in that um and shifting sands is part of this album that i've just produced on the first of march called a piece of me which has got eight songs on it five of which we've just heard would you like to? Sh um, you, want to sh you want to show that? You want to show your album? Yes, uh, yes, I can. Yeah, uh, here we are. Uh, there you go. That's me. That's, that's him. Me. And that's the back. Uh, can you see that bit shiny? There yeah, we are. Well, you yeah. See a few We're getting the gist of it. So uh, you, you've got how many songs yeah. on that uh, CD? Sorry. How many songs do you have on that CD? Yes, there's eight. Eight on the CD, and it's. It's funny because I've been writing, I must have written over 150 songs in two years and I've just been writing, 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 writing. And this is the first time i got a group of songs that I felt would fit well on an album. So the five songs that they're hearing you perform t tonight are a five of the eight that's on that CD. Yes. Yeah. That's good. And they all, they all kind of run nicely into each other with a kind of a relaxed vibe with different different feelings in each song but kind of running nicely together and um, yes and as you mentioned Darcy, Darcy Jones worked with me on this um, as, as we often do together. Yeah, well, you two work you know. quite well together I, I will say that much. We, we just it's just like the same person twice to be honest because um, things she'll suggest I love things I suggest she loves and we just I don't know it just fits we I think musically we just both hear the same things. Well, your your voice is on is on the soft, uh, soft side when, when you're singing, and her vocals are a little on the sharp side. So I'm wondering if the because of the opposite yeah. and the sounds, it's the reason why it sounds so great with her backing you up on some of the music that you do. Absolutely, absolutely. I think texture. There's a lot of things with vocals, but tone wise and texture wise, I think we we really fit, and that's why it sounds good together. That doesn't always happen. You can put two people together that are both great singers, put them both together and texturally something isn't quite working. Yeah, but uh, we're fortunate that it seems to work well with us. Yeah, it's, it's too bad you guys aren't living next door to each other. You could probably do a lot yeah. more work. Goodness. So, yeah. well, here's Jason performing Shifting Sands. Know what you're trying to do Might work well for you But it's killing me This crazy ride that we've been through Something that grew and grew For you and me Wanna hold you close Need to have you so near I don't want the things with you To disappear I just wanna hold your hand Help you understand I don't wanna lose you To no shift in no, no I don't want to lose you
song there and Jason. Uh, the the next song, the last song of your segment, is a song that uh, hits home here. Um, when I say down the road, it's like 16 plus miles down the road, but it's still down the road nevertheless. Uh, something that occurred back on December 14th of 2012, if I, my record is working. Um, sometime last October, I believe I got with you um, via email or however we were doing it and was asking you if you had a song that we could use to promote um, the Sandy Hook uh, Memorial show that uh, we were working on here and I couldn't find one initially of what you had but then turned and asked you if you'd be uh, willing to put a song together because we wanted you in that uh, memorial because of your vocals and the way you present your music and you basically said that you'd be happy to and we got this song called Little Angels with Wings that we played uh, last December and then we'll be playing again in the past couple of weeks. Um, but since we have you in person, we wanted to play it again so we can get your input on how you put that song together. And, I, and again, I believe you put it together with Darcy Javon. Yeah. So. But it, um, when you actually mentioned that and um, we agreed to write a song for it, we first thing that we did was read up on the Sandy Hook shootings we'd heard things in the press and on the news but not enough so the first thing you got us to do was actually study the whole thing what was involved what happened step by step and that that helped to get a feeling of the whole thing and to feel like we were a part of that community and to me that's the first step in writing a song, is to actually feel the way the people do in some measure. Obviously nowhere near as intense as the people that it happened to. But uh, intense enough to write the song. So we could actually write it with feeling, which Darcy and myself both believe that the emotional content of any song is the most important part. Well, it was very emotional um, as far as, as when we got it and listened to it. 
I mean, we listened to so many songs that were written by, oh, for Sandy, not by, for Sandy Hook, that I, I had to stop after a while because I was actually crying. Uh, they were so good. And, and your song, because of the fact that we worked it out, that it, it hit more home here because I was part of it as far as the yeah. introing it. You were part of it because of you wrote it, put it together with Darcy, and it came back outstanding. So, for you out there, again, Jason Mark Yates and Darcy Javon, Little Angels with Wings. Little Angels with Wings Learning how to fly Little angels with wings Long before their time Can anybody make any sense from this? In the morning they left with a kiss Little angels, little angels with wings. God only knows what was going on. My face it shows. Part of me that's gone Can anybody make any sense from this? In the morning they left with a kiss Little angels Little angels with wings Courageous teachers will hold your hand Go with you to the promised land But I wish that I could let you know It hurts that I won't see you grow Little angels Little angels with wings Little angels, 
tail end of this segment of our show. Um, with us we have Jason Mark Yates as far as our interviewee um, and we've had him on once before. And I, again, Jason, uh, thank you for uh, reappearing on our show. It's a real pleasure. Thank you for asking. It is, it is always a pleasure to come and talk to you, Robert. So, uh, I mean, we, we talk to each other fairly regularly. Sometimes we even Skype each other, maybe not just to say hi, but just to see if it's working. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I have escaped. I, I have somebody I can talk to as far as making sure everything's okay. Uh, but uh, no, from Ron and myself, I, again, from from our hearts, uh, we want to thank you for being on on the air. Thanks a lot. So we'll be right back. Thank you, Jason. Awesome job on that. Folks, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Shelly Howlett. Hello. She's my girlfriend, but don't tell her husband. Don't tell my wife either. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard, Shelly. Thank you. It's very good to be here. That's great. It's better looking at a pretty face than it is this ugly mug. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, our next entertainer up tonight. Uh, we have Darcy Javon, and she is singing tonight. Is that tonight? Or where is she going to be? Um, right here with us, I suppose. <laughs> now, Darcy's been with us uh, for a while. She hails from California. And this song that she's doing tonight... Tonight. ...is... <laughs> is um, the way I pictured it and listening to it was about being in love. And like you said earlier, the, just being in the moment. Living in the moment. You know, and uh, it's a lot like where we used to be and stuff like that, you know. So let's give it a listen to Darcy Javon's and Tonight. Feeling nervous as 